Hi guys, uh, welcome to the channel. It's Out of Work Outdoors. This is Connery, and today I'm going to go over my K harness. This is going to be the harness built specifically for the Mirage Outback. You can order it, DM me, PM me. I'll get you some prices, and we can talk about exact specifics that you like. So, the problem with this whole kayak world right now is currently a lot of us want a lot of power on our kayaks, but there is no good harness out there or a harness that is specific to certain models. You can buy universal ones and things like that, but they never they never do what you want and they're not very expandable. So for this unit, it's very expandable. You can buy it, you can splice in wires later, and it just keeps on going. It's like playing with Legos, you know? So let me show you what I got. So at the heart of everything, obviously, is your battery, right? So for the battery, this is what I've always been running. This is a generic eBay battery. But at least get a 20 amp hour battery. Now you probably even want more depending on how big of a fish finder you got. Oh, yeah. So let's see. Here's the connector. This is a SAE connector. We could also jump it up to the Anderson connector. If you want, we could do a double SAE connector if you want. And basically, it goes from that, and it goes to the first breaker, which is on the right-hand side of the kayak. And this breaker, I've, uh, I've organized my kayak so that this one powers this. It is an amplifier for your hydro wave, or your DIY hydro wave. So this is, a, this is a waterproof amplifier that will power a waterproof speaker, okay? And it'll take an auxiliary input, which you'll play from an MP3 player. This is also available on Bluetooth. I should you guys the links down in the description. But then I got a second breaker powering the power point. As you can see, there's a white cable there, or a white line there. It comes all the way back. Imagine if that's underneath the kayak, or the inside of the kayak. It comes up this hole, and then we got it just tied on to this. And here's your power pole. Okay, so there's the power pole. It should be powered with one switch. Everything be shut off. And the other thing is, the power pole doesn't always take power at all times, or at least not a heavy drain. So at the current moment, I'm considering uh, splicing that line back up forward to this too. Because this is currently running on the battery power. It's running on 6 volts, but it's running a 12 volt pump. So it'll take 12 volt power from there, no problem. Okay, so then, back up a second. From there on out, we have another wire, this wire, this wire right here, that continues there and comes to this breaker, which is on the other side. And these breakers are installed in these holes. As you can see, I've already did the two holes. I've pulled the breakers out so we can see them. But th this breaker, the way I've organized it is the front breaker will control the front accessory. The back breaker or the left breaker will control the breaker in the back. Okay, so this front, this front breaker right here goes to this cable, which will be attached to this fish finder. This is a Raymarine element unit. It is only a six inch screen. Yeah, I say only six inch screen because you know we all run bigger screens than that. But this is kind of a good entry level for just about everybody. Even for the tournament anglers, it's still a good entry level. Okay, so the second button, the back button, so I basically am going to do front and back. All right, so it keeps it simple. Back, the back line is on this line, comes right back here right back to your 360 light. The 360 light is already mounted here, mounted pretty rigid, and it almost seems like it flows with a kayak too, so that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah, so anyways, that plugs into this, wires up to this, we're in black, and you do have to drill these holes by the way, they do not come standard on your kayak. But you know, so a lot of people are very skeptical about drilling holes in their kayaks, but for, for most of us, I think it's it's actually a journey too. So the journey to modify your kayak. So 
All in all, you do have to drill the four holes. Let me point those back out to you. There's that one for the power pole. There's that one well, underneath this for the uh, 360 light. Because a lot of us do fish at night or close to the night hours. Got to have it in your government requirement. We have another hole that's drilled over here. And we have another hole that's drilled over here. Okay. Everything else just runs underneath. Everything else is runs underneath. This basically will be a uh, Velcroed to the side of the kayak, kind of like that, above the water line in case the water ever gets down in there. But anyways, that's the harness, you know. Let's do a function check. So here's the fish finder. Help if it was, you know, facing the right way. Tighten that down. Of course, it's on a ram out one and a half inch, which is what I would recommend. And I just ran some water through it just to make sure everything is okay. But turn that off, turn that off, turn it back on, turn it back on. And fish finder power. You hear it, it turns on. Okay, and also the uh, 360 light's on. 360 light is on this button. That works. Let's go to the other side. See this power pole is working or not. Power pole. I actually did not use the 14 gauge wiring on the power pole. Power pole came with a, I think it's a 20 foot cable. Uh, I reused it to run from the back all the way to the breaker. So here's the power pole breaker. Of course, I got my little stickers on here. That's the closest I can get to power pole, and that's the uh, audio. So there you go. Let's check the power pole. Let's check it for functionality. The green light is on. That's a good thing. Mm, I don't know. Up. She going. It's there. There's no pole in it. We'll demo that later. But let's go back to the front. Here is the uh, sound. And as for the sound, as you can see, the red light is on. Uh, it's not a new idea, okay? So that's the thing. I've run this harness uh, style of harnesses and breakers in my other uh, tournament kayak. Uh, it's a Hobie Pro Angler, and I've been running it pretty successfully for the past four years. So uh, this is a system that if you do want to expand, you simply just tie on again on the red lines. Basically, you just clip onto the red lines that come from the battery, comes in the breakers, split off of that and go again and it's 14 gauge everything is 14 gauge so it is overkill for all of our accessories so the system will not be stressed for whatever you throw on it so later on say say you want to go and upgrade to a 10 inch screen and you want to upgrade to like pan optics 360s and you want like the a big bilge pump on there you want to run dual power poles it doesn't matter 14 gauge has you covered the only thing you have to do is just upgrade this battery you could now, now there's a lot of lithium companies out there that are coming out. The same size as this, you could get a, you get a 30 amp hour, okay? 30, or if you want to go twice the size, you can get a 50 amp hour. And a 50, you're not going to drain that during the course of a day. Um, there's just no way. The only thing this cannot do is a trolling motor, okay? So you can't do a trolling motor. It just straight up pulls too much current. But everything else, everything else, it can do lights. Fish finders, you can run two 12s. 14 gauge will take care of it. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments if you guys have anything uh, good or bad to say for that matter. All right, guys, see you guys on the next one. DM me, I'll give you some prices if you are interested in something like this. Like, once again, like I said, this is called a K harness. It is something that I came up with. Uh, it's my kit, basically. All right, K for Kong. That's who I am. Call from Out of Work Outdoors. See you guys on the next one.